Rochester's police chief says building positive relationships with the community is a key part of policing. That's why RPD created Safe City Nights. It all began back in 2019 when police wanted to open communication with the community they serve. ABC 6 News reporter Rachel Monto spent some time at tonight's event and shows us why it's become so successful. Safe City Nights is one of many community outreach efforts by the Rochester Police Department and law enforcement to the forefront of policing. Safe City Nights is organized by the Rochester Police Community Action Team. We organize this as an opportunity uh, to gather the community in a neighborhood and meet with the public uh, when it's not a crisis situation. It's also a chance for community members to meet with other public services, such as the fire department, state troopers, public works, and more. There's also plenty of activities for the kids, like a scavenger hunt or getting to sit inside a fire truck or police car. The kids love policemen and EMTs and firefighters, so it's fun for them to see them all in one space and see all their trucks. Besides having fun, kids get a chance to interact with those they might need to turn to in an emergency. That relationship building also benefits the adults. After uh, George Floyd, it's a great opportunity to have conversations about policing in our community and what, uh, how we police in this community and the expectations and the expectations the community have of us. Crafting connections through conversation and creating a safe community along the way. There are still three more safe city nights planned for this summer. We'll have those details on our website, kaaltv.com. In Rochester, I'm Rachel Mantos, ABC6 News.